Sup fam? It's Richie. Oh shit, I gotta turn off the computer. Sup fam, it's Richie from Social King of... Your, your personal king of darkness, I don't know. And you're probably wondering why I'm dressed like this. Well, I'm heading off to a Halloween party and I, I just figured this, this aesthetic fits. My no I mean, is this really out of character? Really? Really? I'm missing the cliche vampire fangs, but don't worry, I, I did buy them, but they're, they're single use, so I can't, I can't put them on yet. They'll, they'll break, and they were 16 whole dollars. <laughs> so something funny happened, and <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so, it's so cathartically stupid. Every time something like this happens, I'll just come right to it. Onision emailed me. Again, I don't know how many times this is. He is once again pretending to be someone else in a very long-winded email. And when I say long-winded, I, I, I mean it. It's, I've gotten a lot of these. People still are interested in Onision's plight. He's like, he, he's the gift that keeps on giving. He's like COVID, except he kills you with his shitty content. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Hi. We have a very friendly visitor. He's feeling very friendly today. So today's email is forwarded to me by a wonderful person by the name of Nanny Chun. Chun. Nanny Chun. An interesting name choice here. I'm, I'm sure they're definitely real. And I'm gonna be real with you, the whole point of this video is just to kind of keep you guys updated on what he's saying. I have shared every single email. I'm sorry. I've shared every single email he sent uh, to you and the internet because it's just... it. It's funny, all right? It would almost feel unethical to not show you these emails. They're, they're too good. Now, a common complaint I get on these Onision email videos is that people say, hey, Richie, hey, social repose, hey, social dumpster fire. It could just be an elaborate ploy for him to regain attention, for him to regain traction amongst our corner of YouTube because he's definitely no stranger to using hate to get attention, to get views, in order to get money to fuel whatever he's doing. I, I honestly don't, like, d does he still have a YouTube channel? If he does, it's not monetized. Is he, uh, he's not on Patreon. I, I just, I find it hard to believe that he's doing this as like an elaborate ploy. You know, I would have given 2016 and earlier Onision the benefit of the doubt for concocting such a elaborate scheme to stay relevant and stay in the hearts and minds of all his haters. Um, but I, I, I really honestly don't think that's the case. I, I really think that he's being genuine here and it's sad and let's do it. Okay, here we go. Story time, top to bottom. Title of email, you destroyed an innocent man's life from Nanny Chun. Definitely not Onision. The only witness stated he did not commit a crime. The evidence concluded he did not commit a crime according to trained investigators. The police stated there was no crime. It's so dramatic. You did not report on this when information was available to the public over a year ago. Instead, you posted negative statements about Onision that put Onision in a false light while acting like this police report did not exist. What you did to an innocent man for money? It's predatory and horrifying. I'm reading this email for the very first time right now on camera and I'm kind of bummed I didn't make a song about it. It's too easy! You had ads running next to your life-destroying statements. You profited off the destruction of an innocent man! Sorry. I'm assuming he's talking about the child grooming stuff, the stuff that really did him in, and I didn't... I didn't really talk about it at all. I, I kinda... I stayed out of it. I mean, it's like, the whole thing's, like, super messed up. Onision lost his job. He lost thousands of dollars from YouTube and Twitch. Call me crazy here. I'm pretty sure he was on his way out before this. If anything, the Chris Hansen thing gave him a boost. He should be thankful. He was socially exiled and to this day is regularly told to kill himself and called atrocious names that have nothing to do with him. Wow, I wonder what that's like. Have you seen my TikTok? Everyone comparing me to Onision and calling me a pedophile? Love that. Thanks, Greg. Really appreciate it. Onision is stalked when he goes out into public and has to fear for the safety of his loved ones thanks to people like you! Boy, oh boy. It's almost like he was a super controversial creator for over 12 years and burnt every bridge in his whole goddamn life and personally attacked and made dozens of videos on literally every single person he's ever collaborated with. When you saw negative things being said about Onision, you jumped to smear his name and profit off his destruction. 
if you have any integrity. It is your journalistic duty, I also said with jur jur <laughs> It's a social repose YouTube channel, right? To report the full truth, not just what you think will make the hate mobs happy. Well, actually, actually, Greg, actually, it's not my job to report. It's, it's not my job to do anything ever. I do what I want, and I don't care, especially about you, but m most things. If you ever had a problem with anyone in the media lying, be the solution. Be a person who can sleep at night with ease. Oh, don't worry. I, I, don't, I don't have any issues with that. A person who can look at themselves in the mirror and call themselves honest. You can't make this shit up. You helped destroy an innocent man's life. I think, I think he's, he's really driving that one home. Now it is your duty to prove you are not a predator of innocent people. Report the full truth. He then links a police report, which is a YouTube video. Interesting enough. Uh, didn't know police reports came in YouTube form. I wonder how many subscribers the state police have. I'm not clicking that. It could be malware. In the attached report, the witness states she was dumped for sexually extorting. And he's, I love how he uses the word dumped. Like he wasn't harboring this 16 year old under the umbrella of like adopting her when clearly there was some inappropriate stuff going on. Regardless of if he was grooming her or not. That's just, it's weird. It's weird. Any sane person would look at the situation of him adopting a 15, 16 year old whatever until she's 18 and then all this stuff comes, like it's just, it looks so bad and of course it's Onision. Like it just, like stop. And you somehow made Onision a rape victim. Wow! A rape victim. He's calling himself a rape victim. Okay, okay, we're going full crazy. I, I'm, you know, I'm here for it. I'm here, I'm, I'm not here, I'm here, I'm not here for it, I'm here for it. Please do not say you have any conscience when you would have the position that anyone can't be raped. <laughs> wow, this is like, this is kind of infuriating to be honest. Age and gender have nothing to do with whether or not you can be a victim. The person on the report admitted publicly on her own live stream that she sexually extorted Onision. Additionally, she apologized to Onision directly for raping him. Uh, she apologized twice. Definitely not Onision. That's like, kind of serious and a little fucked up that he's like twisting that around to fit his definition of it. Like even if she did extort him, she was a minor living with them and it was very clear that s things were off. I don't know. Man. Make this right. Stop helping rapists get away with their crimes. Stop doing the bidding of hate moms and stop being a predator. It started off funny. Um, until the last two paragraphs. Do you see what I'm saying here with these emails? It could be an elaborate ploy. It is so ridiculous that that's still not off the table in my brain. Onision would go this far for views or just for sheer ridiculous spectacle. But I don't think it is. I don't think it's a joke. I think he is dead serious here. I think he genuinely believes that he is a rape victim and that he deserves penance. He just, he constantly leaves out every time he comes at me or anyone like me. Everything he's ever done, he has made dozens of really mean videos about me over the years. I've been trying so hard the last couple years to exercise the golden rule, especially after I got canceled and like chased off the internet for a while, to treat others the way you'd like to be treated, and that everybody, regardless of what they've done, deserves some form of redemption. But he's making it really hard here. It's, it's, it's super disgusting. I don't know. What do you think about what is said in this email? I would love to know. It's very juicy and silly. Personally, for me, the thing that rubbed me the wrong way the most about Greg in the past couple years, like the more recent Onision garbage fire, is when he raided people and made a video series about it. Like of all the things, for some reason that one, like he was, he was raiding people's body, whether they were underage or not, and some of them were underage, it just, it's so gross, and it says so much about him. And that was only one drop in the bucket compared to the ocean that is the controversy of Onision and his whole presence on the internet. It's just, just, it's just gross is the word. And as I said in the last video, I'm gonna say it here again, at the end of all of this, whenever it ends, I don't know when it will end, but when it does, I hope that he doesn't hurt himself or anyone else uh, physically or emotionally. That would be wonderful. I hope he just rides quietly into the night, never to be heard of again. 
And that's all I got for today's video. Boy, oh boy. Uh, ha happy Halloween, everyone. I'm assuming I'm posting this before Halloween. Uh, thanks for buying a lot of the new shirts. That's neat. I'm glad people still care and stuff. And I have a Patreon if you want to help support and keep this channel alive with, uh, with more covers, commentary, and music, and other weird art stuff. I'm here for it. I love doing this. And as always, stay sad, but not too sad. Okay, bye. I could be the one to